one thing that it took me forever to actually figure out um, was that I never really paid attention to these little nooks where the dogs came out of. But, um, if you find some that are unsealed while you're wandering around, um, they're actually, like, really handy. There's a lot of issues with people, like, asphyxiating. I had one guy in the co-op I was with while we were tooling around looking for stuff uh, die because, you know, there was no little oxygen thing. Um, I don't actually know how... How, how much this oxygen has been upgraded. Because by the time you actually can... That was really weird. I couldn't even use that one. By the time you start flying around and doing stuff, um, you should have had enough mats to upgrade your oxygen rather significantly. And by the time it's fully upgraded to 420 seconds, that's an absurd amount of time seven minutes to fly around and do things is is a really long time um, and one thing I'm not doing right now I don't know if you can hear it but there's the telltale pulse that says hey there's resources around here um, all of my bots are actually deployed but if you fly around here enough you'll find where the resource locations are but anyway notice that here is a grate that a dog has not popped out of shoot it, toys come out. There's all these little things that you can take advantage of. Oh, dude, there's that last level part I needed for this level. Okay, so yes, definitely make sure that you use this. I was going to mention that there's a lot of them that have stuff in them already uh, that you need for your unlocks. This one won't have anything because I found all the others in this level. But notice there's a bunch of crates in there. Um, I would say that you probably shouldn't use a rapid fire weapon because then you have the bits and pieces of the debris from shattered crates flying around as well as the momentum imparted onto the, the weapon parts that you didn't get. So. That's something that you can look for. Um, so, I'm tempted actually to cancel out of this. Um, but uh, the other thing that I was going to mention is there are a lot of these O2 bins around. For the longest time, I just flew past them looking for floating tanks. But you know, you shoot it, and as promised, there is oxygen inside. If you fly up to it, you're not going to be able to use it. You need to stasis it and then be confused by why you're not able to suck from it. That, I believe that there's a bug in the game somehow, or um, if you use too high power to weapon, you actually shatter it maybe. I don't know. So sometimes they'll work awesome, uh, sometimes they will really end up screwing you. So like this one, I was able to stasis out. It worked, uh, not stasis, uh, whatever the zero point energy thing is. I know that's misused, I'm using that for the Incredibles. But there's a lot of these little nooks and crannies around the wreckage that you can find. that, you know, you can just make use of them and then, you know, if you really want to be a jerk about it, your partner's just saw you find one, so he's flying over and so you shoot it away so he can't get at it. Um, not that I would ever do something like that. But exploring these is actually rather important. Um, I'm not going to screw with them. The dogs are really easy to bypass. Um, 
I will comment on where you can find one of these so you don't fly around too much. The first uh, resource thing that you can find with the robots, you're going to start hearing the beeping for the instant you fly around. I'm not sure if you can tell, but in that direction is where you came out. Or if you notice, there's where the skip is. The first resource bot thing that you're going to come across on the outside, outer space, is right here. You just fly up, wander around, and if I had my scavenger bot, I'd show you, but it's going to be right here on top of the platform. Uh, space is a pain to find things because you're essentially playing hot and cold with those, and you're going to be tooling around with, with trying to figure out what side of the bulkhead you need to be on, and you can get kind of frustrated. Um, once you find them, though, it's it's not so bad. Um, well, I will take a side trip to the Greeley. I'm sorry, not to the Greeley, to the Brusilov. The Greeley is the ship where you uh, get your first optional mission from. The Brusilov is your first co-op I'm solo right now, but that doesn't mean that you can't fly over to the Brusilov. And I want to point out a couple things about this place that will illustrate the importance of being able to find all those little nooks and crannies filled with oxygen. Um, yes, the other stuff is very nice because, you know, I mean, you get you know, little components and stuff like that. But the exploration of things that goes on... Sorry, not the exploration of things that goes on. The amount of other stuff that you can find while you're doing your exploration is really rather remarkable. So when you go off and you first head off to the Brusilov, there's one of these little dudes. He spits out a bunch of little seeker mines. Um, ah. They're nasty and annoying. You can dodge them if you're paying attention. <laughs> um, you can also stasis the base thing so that oh. little pods are easier to get at. Um, one reason why you do want to kill him, kill this little dude, is that the first time you do, he will spit out a weapon supply box, which, you know, is this early in the game is really, really nice to get at. And while that is certainly one reason to go after him, um, I'm not sure if this is the piece. No, this is not. But you need to you need to get rid of him in order to be able to fly around unmolested. So, there is a skip. When you fly out here, you shoot the the seeker drone spitting thing. And then there's this v uh, vessel here with um, a six or you know a nine, depends on how you fly out to it. If you shoot off these guys, uh, one of them is going to contain a weapon part. Um, I've already gotten it. I'm pretty full of my other junk, so I'm not really going to stress those. But if you fly to the other side, if I recall correctly, there are these dudes which are pain in the butt. They shoot out the little mini seeker things. And the reason why you need to get rid of them is because of this door here. Um, you go in here. One awesome thing is that it is <clears throat> oxy it's oxygen filled. So you know if you're running low on air, by the time you get here, who really cares? Um and there's storage chests here. And there will be some artifacts or perhaps text logs that you need to get at. So you get this. Really. Um, or just very 
guys. So, I'm not going to show you where the others are, but be sure to look for these on the other bits of spaceship that you fly, find flying around. All of these are interior bulkheads. So, if you're looking for them on the nice big flat parts of the ship and wondering why you can't find them, it's because uh, these are interior doors, so the only way to have found them is to actually look for the pieces of ship that have been sheared apart and so you have this you know inside of the ship for that part and so that managed to expose interior doors um, i hope this part was useful and not too rambling